you have very aggressive targets for the LA Times in terms of your digital distribution. How does this help? Well, I think the Apple platform, uh, with its large um, global uh, ability to distribute on a digital form, is a, a beginning of our strategy uh, to launch, you know, uh, another digital uh, exposure of the LA Times. But if I can get it for paying $9.99 a month and get everything else, would I want to or uh, subscribe separately? to the LA Times? It would seem I wouldn't. And given you want, I would assume, a direct-to-consumer relationship, aren't you potentially cannibalizing that? No, I think that it's basically different audiences, right? The, the, uh, the audience that wants us to see magazines and, and also have a, a global view of content uh, is also a, a different audience from our local regional viewers. Um, and I think the opportunity to really to spread um, our content and high quality journalism across, uh, we're not really concerned or think that this is a cannibalism um, concern to us. Patrick, how should this uh, revenue share model work? I mean, the, Sp the Spotify model is uh, in aggregate over all viewers, over all listeners, the most popular artists, the most popular content gets the most, you know, the biggest piece of the pie. Whereas if the LA Times is the only publication that I read inside Apple News in a given month, should you get the full $5 or, or how should that work? Yeah. Well, I, I'm not going to go into details because Apple hasn't revealed the general details. But in essence, it, the, that is a similar concept that, you know, the and it really incents really our paper and, and all papers to provide uh, content that's of interest to the viewers. So, yeah, I well, think... Wh the... Which is the model? More like Spotify or more like the, the share of what I read goes to you? No, I, I, again, I, I don't really want to go in, to be honest with you, we haven't really even figured out as we do the metric uh, and we just started this. Uh, but it's more like the idea of if, if people are interested in our content, we get rewarded um, uh, for that. I, I, guess, I guess to that, uh, Doctor, the question I would have is, for, for the newspaper, is this a game of growth and a game of scale? Is the focus here for you on more eyeballs and more subscriptions, or is it on actually finding another way to make money? No, for us, it's really a way to actually attract an audience that we wouldn't normally attract on this kind of platform. Look, I, I look upon the LA Times as a media brand in which really our attention now is directly to the audience. So the goal is to create high quality journalism for an audience that interests the audience. We have to turn away from uh, the old model of advertisers. I think the platforms of Google and Facebook um, et cetera, have taken on the scaled model for the advertisers. Our uh, audience now is the, um, the readers. So this is a platform, and especially Apple, that actually uh, um, really uh, values the privacy of, of our readers. Um, and so it's not a model uh, uh, for merely um, making more money. It's a, a model for actually identifying an audience that will see the value in subscribing to the LA Times. Patrick, I understand that you are not able to discuss specifics, but just listening to you, it, it appears some specifics haven't yet been fully negotiated. I mean, is there still more to come in terms of your figuring this out with Apple, or is this thing set? No, the, the, the terms have been negotiated. I think uh, the, the questions with regard to the analysis of the metrics and uh, that is, is still new, frankly, both to us and to Apple. Um, but I see them as a, a fantastic partner. I see them as a partner that using their device and their, their platform of global um, reach, a different platform from the digital platform that we're about to launch. Uh, interestingly enough, we have just soft launched uh, today at San Diego Union Tribune um, our new web-based uh, platform, uh, which just went live today, just uh, coincidentally. The Washington Post and the New York Times are not a part of this. 
they have thriving digital businesses. Patrick, if you were at their scale or had that, would you still have chosen to be a part of this service? You, you know, it's, that's difficult to, to analyze. From our perspective, um, I'm not sure yes or no, but I do see that it's a different audience, right? I think the, um, when I spoke to Norm um, Polstein, who was uh, with Time magazine, and they put Time into Texture, if you recall, where there was multiple other magazines, they did not see uh, cannibalization. So again, I think this is a, a different audience that um, wants to have everything conveniently in one place. And provided we provide um, good, high-quality journalism and good content that interests the viewers, uh, whether it's direct subscription or subscription through Apple, I think this will allow us to grow. Pa Patrick, is, is the most important thing about this Apple move and this News Plus announcement really the, the death of that 20-year idea we've been living in that content wants to be free? I mean, it, advertising was supposed to make up for everything eventually. If you could just get to a big enough scale, does this really represent the death of that idea and the rise of the idea? You know what? M maybe you can give away too much personal information. Maybe targeting can go too far, and maybe the consumer is finally ready to pay for content again. Well, it's exactly right. And I think, you know, as I said, my concern was the Fair Use Act and how the Fair Use Act has been used by the platforms to take content, valuable, uh, high-quality journalistic content for free and, and use that, um, which then really enables then the consumer to believe incorrectly that um, work of journalists were very much like scientists who do all the hard work of reporting and discovering is free. So we need to provide a um, subject matter and information that is of value to the reader, of interest to the reader, and bring now payment. So Apple serves, frankly, as the first um, beginnings of the beginning, I, I, I believe, where uh, the um, reader or the audience believes that it's, it's worthwhile paying for that content. And this is really the, the Apple News Plus is the beginning of that, uh, that venture for us.